Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. Today is, I believe, the 10th of May. It has been, again, I apologize, it's been a quite a bit of time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, as of lately, I've been posting a lot of videos, not live videos, but IGTV clips and videos on Instagram, of course. And um, for all of you that are actually interested in seeing my Instagram channel, I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out and check out some of my posts and videos and promotional things. Just promoting uh, different lures, different companies, fishing rods, lines, uh, reels, lures, etc. So, but today's video, guys, is going to be about top water bass fishing. Um, when to use top water, where to locate, where, where to fish these top water lures. For those that are not really familiar with top water fishing and, and how to do it and how to go about doing it and so forth and so on. Uh, as we well know, a lot of people around the world, around the country, just don't, they're not familiar with how to use top water lures and where to fish them and, and how to, and what rods and reels and line to use. I'm just going to go over some of the tips that I use, some of the rods, well, the only rod that I'm using as of right now in the line and some base. I don't have them with me, but I'm gonna put a couple clips in between this video so you guys can check them out. So without further ado, guys, get right into it. Okay, guys, first off, bass fishing, top water lures. When to use top water. A lot of people may get it kind of confused about when to use top water lures. Uh, may think that when the water temperature hits 60 or a little bit above 60, 64, 65 degrees, um, that's not necessarily the, the truth. That's not necessarily the case all the time. You can't really determine when the fish are gonna feed looking up or feed aggressively. So with that being said, it doesn't necessarily have to be that 60 plus degrees water temp. When you are actually seeing, or you know the bass are actually feeding aggressively in shallow water, you can actually see them busting up on bait around different areas, shallow or maybe out in deep water, suspended, that's when you can actually probably get away with using a top water lure, maybe being a, a hidden spook or a small BD popper from Boy Duckett um, or anything of that nature. Or maybe even a fluke. You could actually fish a weightless fluke and it can be kind of subsurface, kind of almost at the, the top of the water column, use one of those. So those are some tips for you guys of when you can actually start bass fishing top water lures. But obviously, you know, in the spawn, in the springtime, that's when they're actually really, really aggressively. So you don't actually have to wait to that particular time of year to actually start bass fishing top water lures. So up next, fishing line. A lot of people have their certain uh, things they like to use, mono, some people like to use fluorocarbon, some people like to use braid, straight braid or braid to a fluorocarbon leader or braid to a mono leader. Just all depends, it's all a preference. My personal preference, I tend to lean towards straight braid 98 to 99% of the time. For me, if I have the right rod, if I have the right action of that rod, treble hooks won't come out. If I play well, if my drag set, correct if I have the right line strength for the braided line. So that being said, my rod choice, which I'll post, also I'll show you guys here in a minute in one of my videos and talk about it, is the seven foot two Enigma Phenom, fast action, medium, heavy, fast action. Plenty of tip so I can walk those baits, those spooks, those poppers, the small little poppers. You can actually get away where you can walk them sometimes and it it has the right action. It's a medium heavy, fast action. So it's got a lot of bend, but plenty of backbone to drive those hooks home to fish it well. And I'm fishing it with 50 pound Sunline FX2 braid. Straight braid, a little bit of backing, mono, so the braid won't slip once you set the hook. But of course with treble hooks, you're really not, when you're setting the hook, like you're setting the hook on a big frog or uh, a spro frog or any kind of frog of that nature. So, those are some of the tips, guys, of what I like to do. And I'll leave the links in the description below for you guys to check out the gear that I use. And I use a, a fast gear ratio reel, a Shimano SLX, which was 
I was using it for like spinning baits, chatter baits, moving baits, but it's actually gonna be only for my top water lures as of right now. Probably the duration. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Here's some clips. I've been catching some top water bass as of recently. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So after this, we'll get right back into it. Talk a little bit more. Enjoy. All right, guys. New rod here. The Shimano. Mm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the Enigma. Phenom. Titanium Series. 7.2 medium heavy fast action. I got a 50 pound braid on here. And I got it paired up with my uh, Shimano SLX. I was using this for uh, just regular like spinner baits, chatter baits, things of that nature. Now we're going to use it straight top water. Oh yeah. Well, seen a couple bass up shallow already. It's a little BD popper here. If you haven't heard about it, or tried it out with the Bass Pro Shops guys. Get yourself one. This is the original one. I hadn't changed anything out on it. I've had it for a long time. There we go. There we go. Oh. oh, 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 don't you do that. Taste some fish, guys. This little guy. That's a good one there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. See? The big fish yeah. What kind of uh, what, what kind of bait are you using? That was a top water spook. They hit top water pretty good over in this area. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple of good ones over there. Right? Mm-hmm.
Okay, guys, now that you watched those clips, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you kind of learn and, and see the areas I like to target. I like to target shallow when I'm fishing for top water uh, bites. And it doesn't have to always be that way. When you see some fish, sometimes you see them suspended, which is probably most of the time in the summertime when they're actually suspended in deeper water, busting up on shad all over the place. But that's a different topic, different time of the year. We're focusing on right now how to catch these fish, where to target, and how to do it. As you saw in the videos, I was fishing parallel to the bank a lot of the times in shaded areas. I didn't talk about that. In shaded areas, these bass, they like low light conditions. A lot of times you can catch them when the sun is shining and beaming on the water, but a lot of times focus on those shaded areas and that's where they're gonna be feeding a lot of times. Slow down that bait sometimes you see a swirl like I did in one video, one of these clips that you just saw. Slow it down, give them a chance to get a good look at it. Twitch it maybe, sometimes you don't have to twitch it and they're on it like clockwork. So guys, I hope you got today, I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> today's episode hope you guys learned something and be sure to check out my instagram guys and soon enough here we're gonna have to do another video video giveaway maybe even an instagram giveaway not quite sure yet but gotta do a youtube giveaway give back to the community get back to my fans and and subscribers and viewers everybody so guys as always like comment subscribe also be safe with this covid19 going on even though the the world's kind of opening back up be cautious be safe and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.